Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? This is Reese or Brush It Cub and welcome back to another fantastic episode of our Check It Let's Play Adventure. As you can see, we are back down here in the basement where we normally are. And uh, this dude's still doing the wave, he's still happy. We still have energy flowing and I made a carrot farm. That's right, this is batch two. And for some reason, water won't flow into here. I can't, I can't, can't quite work out what's happening there. Nor am I too worried about it. But uh, I do wish that that would, that would, that would get drenched and grow a little bit faster. This is round two of the carrot farm. So hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll get a whole lot more carrots. It'll be fantastic and I won't go starving. Let me show you what I've been up to since the last episode. Hello, Bob. Check it out, guys. We have been building some office space, me and Bob. I kind of taught Bob. It took a little while, but I taught him how to make dimensional doors. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see them up there, but there's a whole bunch of doors on these. Oh, I guess I can just go up there and show you. Let's go to the purple level. It's a little bit more fun. I haven't figured out why, but for some reason, when, when Roth had us build these, he made us make the purple one kind of random. You see, it's just kind of like random doors and random places. But the yellow one is really orderly. As you can see, it's like straight line and then they're all evenly spaced and stuff. And actually, there's more right below us as well. Ooh, we could take a flying leap down onto the yellow. Oh, that hurt. Actually, broke my legs. Yeah, here's yellow though. And yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting stuff. So we've been working on that, getting the office space ready. We actually kind of finished the plans that Ralph had for us. So I'm not sure what he wants me to do today. Uh, I, I'm, I'm assuming we're going to have more offices than this built, but uh, just from the, the directions he gave me, that pretty much is exhausted. So we need to go talk to him, see what he's got going on. We also created a new way to get upstairs. Uh, let me go ahead and show you these. This is uh, Wizard underscore Ralph, the steward. So he's the steward or caretaker. I'm in here, and then this is the access passage where we can find Bob, the builder, uh, the roof access, and then storage. Storage! Very boring. It's just uh, empty void of fabric of reality, and I don't know what that is. We need to ask we need to ask the boss about that. Bob's place isn't that interesting, but we have roof access now, so we don't have to go up the ladders or anything like that. It's pretty cool. And of course, you just pop right back down, and out we are into, into the world. Alrighty, so today we are doing something. I don't know what. Let's go ask the boss, and this is the boss's office. It's not quite finished yet. It too has like a roof of fabric of reality. And I am going to ask about that. We're going to find out what that means and what that is. Hello, boss. Ah, oh, hello, Cub. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. How are, how are things going with you? Ah, oh, very good. Uh, it looks like you and Bob did a fine job with the offices. Oh, well, thank you very much. Oh, you bet. So, are you ready for your next goal? Yes, I'm ready for the, the goal. Job. Job or goal, I... Wh whatever. <laughs> well, I'm uh, sorry to say that it's not quite ready yet. Uh, of course it's not. Well, I am waiting on some more supplies. Alright. Well, I guess in the meantime, it's free time? Yes, you're free to do whatever you want. Alright, well, I actually had a question for you. Alright, sir, so go ahead. What is the fabric of reality? Like, it's... How do I... Where are we? What is this place? Explain this to me. Explain the doors and things to me, please. Oh, alright, I'll, I'll do the best I can, but do know that this is a rather tricky subject to explain. It's taken a lot of years for us to work it out ourselves. But, based on what we have, where we're standing right now is reality itself, or the lack thereof. Okay. That, that, that meant nothing to you, did it? Absolutely nothing at all. Alright, well, then let's look at it like this. There are several different worlds. We mist wizards travel through the worlds using books, much like the ones you'll see behind me. Right, lots of them. Well, there's lots of worlds. And now when I say worlds, I don't mean like other planets or anything like that. I mean other dimensions, other existences. Okay, and you travel to them through books. Indeed. Where do the doors come in? Well, the doors allow access to this place. Sort of an empty void between the worlds. Oh, like in like in the Narnia books, where you, you touch the ring and you go to the, the world with all the pools, and it's like the world between the worlds. I've never read a Narnia book, but it, it's something like that, yes. It's, it's the existence between the worlds. Okay, so you've got books that'll take you to worlds, and then the doors will take you into the world between the doors. I think I got it. I think that makes a sort of sense. Kind of. Well, that's good. Now, there's also another type of door that I don't think you've looked at yet. Oh? Yes, it's an unstable door. You see, sometimes certain areas of certain realms or existences will get pulled away and lost in the fabric of reality. 
In order to access those, you can actually build an unstable door. Wait, you mean like temples and random things? I think, I think I've done that before. Yes, sometimes unstable doors can get scattered throughout the wilderness. I wouldn't be surprised if you haven't stumbled across a couple in your time. Yes, yes, one, in fact, I went into and then it came out in lava. <laughs> yes, they are very unstable. You never know where they're going to take you. Sometimes they'll take you to other doors, sometimes they'll take you back to your world, and other times they'll take you to mysteries you have never seen. Well, that sounds very interesting. Um, oh, it is, Cub, it is. In fact, since you have free time, why not play around with it? You might find yourself uh, enjoying the day. Well... I mean, I guess. I mean, I've got nothing to lose. Oh, no, and everything to gain. You never know what you might find in one of those lost realms. All right. Well, that sounds like fun. I guess I'll go do that. All right. Take care. I'll let you know when the next shipment arrives. Thank you, boss. You bet. All right. So, oh, it's dark now. What? When did that happen? Huh. Well, okay. Uh, I, I hope that made sense to you guys. It didn't make, it, it kind of made sense to me. We're going to be building an unstable door? Is that what he told us to do? Unstable door. Which is an eye of ender and two dimensional doors. And that'll lead us to a random destination, which is apparently something that got sucked from a real existing world into the void between the world. This is confusing stuff. All right. We're going to need some ender pearls. We're going to need some eye of ender. We're going to need some more do doors. Lots of more doors. I think I'm running low on golden iron upstairs. So we'll grab, grab half a, ah, uh, grab a full stack of iron. I think that's all I need from down here. Oh wait, hold on. We might want to bring some wooden doors. Uh, wooden doors are very convenient. Uh, I was doing my research earlier, and if you place a block um, under a rift in any dimension, or you can place it anywhere in a pocket dimension to approach the surface, very useful. We we might want to bring that with us. So let's head up to our out and then down to my sanctuary and we will get to work on these. So the first thing we got to do is build a couple of doors. We got one dimensional door, two dimensional doors, and then apparently it's two of those and then one of these will create an unstable door which leads to a random destination. Perfect. And then we'll go ahead and build one of these to get out in case things get really bad. And then how do you make a rift blade? I hear that these things are pretty useful. I think we might want to go ahead and make one. I'm not sure what they do. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we're nowhere near out of gold. We've got plenty. So I didn't really need to grab that. Oh, well, not not a, not a big issue. I think you make a... Okay, and then one of these in the middle. Yep, there we go. Rift remover. And then a couple more ender pearls. Aha, rift blade. Cool. I can't remember for the life of me what that does, but we're going to take it with us anyway. Just throw stuff up here for now. All right, what are we going to take with us? We'll take the Rift Blade. I'm not sure if it makes a good weapon, but we'll take it with us anyway. We'll bring the Stone Sword just in case. Definitely going to need both of the doors we made. We'll bring some Ender Pearls in case we need to toss them around. And uh, we might want to go ahead and make... I don't... Uh, we'll make one more of these. On the off chance something really bad happens, and we need one. And... Uh, some torches, I guess, would be good. I don't think we'll need any sorts of materials or anything. Hmm. Food. Carrots. Where did I put the carrots? Carrots. Did I throw them up here? There we go. I think that this is a, a pretty good supply of things to take with us into a mysterious, potentially unstable, destructive door. We'll take it and we'll put it over here, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, for adventure! Oh my gosh, what the heck? No. No, 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 This is not good. What the heck? It took me to the moon? How does that make any sense? That, that does nothing. That's doing nothing for me. That's, what the heck? Uh... Guys? Yep, that's not good. That's definitely not good. Okay, so we've got we've got we okay. Mm. We we oh, I just got I got a text message. Did you guys hear that? Did you hear it? It was like rattling my whole 
I think I need to buy a performance ignition coil. Trace, I don't care about your performance ignition coil. I love you, Trace, but I'm stranded in some weird place right now. This isn't good. I'm going to go ahead and say that we've we've stumbled across a staircase. Oh, this will only take us deeper. Do we want to go deeper? Oh, we're going deeper, apparently. Okay, well, this is... This is fine. We... Um... Things could be worse. Where do we go from here? Where... Oh, dear. This isn't good. This is not good. Guys, I don't... I should have brought a pick with me. I didn't bring a pick with me. Why did I not bring a pick with me? Oh! Okay, what have we found? I'm taking everything. This is horrible, guys. I... Oh... Uh, we really can't get back home from the moon. That's you. Wait a second. I still have a moon base. The moon base didn't get destroyed, and the moon base still has a book that I linked from the moon to Earth. So if I can find the moon base, I can probably still find that book and make it back to Earth. Okay, so we're good. So even if things go really downhill here, which they apparently did. Because there's nowhere else to go in here. Crud. We are we are stuck here, people. Oh gee. Oh gee. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, we just died. What the heck? Oh, what? What? What is going on? What is going on? What? What is that? Oh, 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 oh. Gee. Okay. What the heck? It's looking at me, guys. Okay, they're all looking at me. I don't like this place. I don't I don't know where we are. I don't know what just happened. I'm I'm very confused. But I don't want to be here anymore. And I don't know how to get out of here. I don't want to waste my last door, to be honest with you. I don't think that's a smart idea. Um what did that do? Ooh. Do I want to go through that? Do I want to go through that? I don't want to go through that right now. Well, I do. I just... Okay, let's... We'll mark it off so we can come back to it later. There we go. Okay, there's that. I think that this might be... Have we hit one of these? Whoa! The heck! What the heck? Oh, we're doing it again. Okay, that's great. Thank you for that. I think that this might be. This might be purgatory, people. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> right, well, there's got to be a way out of here. This is still a game. This is still just a game. I don't care if there are talking test certificates that give me jobs, at the end of the day, this is still all happening inside of Minecraft. This is still a game. There's there's always a way out of this. They, they, they wouldn't make a game that would leave you stuck here forever. We're going to find a way out of this, okay? Trust me. Just trust me. Just keep trusting me. I just now thought to stop and take a look at this stuff. It's called Unraveled Fabric. I think we're going to take some of this back home with us. That might be interesting. Okay, this is going way low. Do we want to follow it? So if this is Unrivaled Fabric, what is that? That is nothing. Okay, well that's good to know. Oh hey, there's some kind of liquid down there. Yeah, I don't seem to take any fall damage. I don't really know if I want to push that too hard. What is this stuff? Oh my gosh, you guys realize what this is, don't you? This is the chocolate... The chocolate milk uh, lake that we've all been waiting for. Eternal fabric. You cannot break it. I don't know if I want to walk on it. Oh, whoa, oh, gee, what the heck? Hey. Hey, I think we're back in the overworld. I think. 
I don't know if it's the right overworld. I suppose it is possible it might have dropped us into another realm. Like Ralph was telling us about. Oh, great. Yeah, none of this looks familiar. I, I don't, I don't know. Oh, great. This, this doesn't go, this doesn't bode well. Not at all.